If you live in an HOA community, I have a secret for you. You can still dominate your neighbors with your lawn. You don't have to just take whatever they put down. I'm gonna show you what I'm putting down on mine, and my neighbors aren't gonna be happy. Coming up. If you need shade on your deck or patio this summer, check out Toya Grid Pergola Kits. You source the lumber locally and can assemble this modular system in as little as 30 minutes. Check the video description for links to videos and more information about Toya Grid. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud. And today I've got a few things that I want to put down on my lawn. Now, the HOA has done two applications of fertilizer. In early March, they did a first application of fertilizer with pre-emergent crabgrass control. And then just a couple weeks back, they did another application with a broadleaf weed control. And I gotta tell you, we, I'm in New Jersey, and the Northeast has had some heat for the past couple of weeks, and on top of that, I had work being done in my yard, so my lawn got really beat up. I'm going to show it to you now, and then I'll show you what I'm going to be putting down. So we got our gardens done, not only in the front, but also in the back, and boy, they made a mess out of my lawn. Not only were they working on the lawn and trampling it, but I couldn't water it while their tools were here. And it got really hot that week when they were doing it. That was about two weeks ago. It looks beautiful now though. And the lawn, it's coming back. Now on the left side of my house here, this is always the worst spot. In fact, this was really bad in the fall when I reseeded. And it came up great, but here it is the end of May. And like I said, we've had a little bit of a drought situation here. And so it's really struggling. So I'm gonna do some special treatment over here to make it a little bit better. In the backyard, also dry and trampled. But the garden looks great. This side of my house, the neighbor gets a lot more sun over here than I do on the right side. So you can see that looks nice and green. Other than for back here is pretty dry too. And I've been watering it like crazy, so it's just time for a little bit of fur. All right, so let's talk about the products that I'm gonna use just to make sure my lawn is a little bit better than everybody else's. First and foremost, I know the HOA is not putting down grub control and some of the damage that I have in my lawn might actually be grubs. If not now, it might actually be grubs, you know, later on in the season. So I definitely want to start with an application of GrubX. This is gonna be good for the season here. This bag covers 5,000 square feet, I believe, at least. I've got 4,000, so I'm gonna put this whole bag down and hopefully this takes care of any grubs that are in my lawn now or might actually grow in the fall. The next thing that I'm gonna put down is something that will make my watering more effective. It'll keep my lawn better hydrated. And it's a product called Hydratane. This is something that the Lawn Care Nut uses and sells through his company, Yard Mastery. I'll put a link in the video description. This thing just goes on the end of your hose and you spray it on the lawn and it grabs extra moisture from the air and makes it available to the roots of your grass. I don't know exactly how the science works behind it. All I know is the Lawn Care Nut has done proof that this thing works. And I've got some areas of my lawn where it definitely could use it. And this does 5,000 square feet. I've only got 4,000, so I'm actually gonna save a little bit and put some in my wife's garden and in the pots as well. Now anybody can have a nicer lawn than your neighbor by just applying more fertilizer than your neighbor. The problem is that'll cause excessive growth. And since my lawn is mowed at the same time as everybody else, mine would actually look worse if it was nice and green, but tall. So I don't wanna get, I don't wanna get down that road. I really wanna just provide something that's gonna give better color and a better punch, but not necessarily a lot of growth. And I found the perfect product for that. And it's called Spoon Juice. This is one bottle, it's a liquid, that has everything in it that I need. It has a little bit of nitrogen, it's only 
it also has iron and it has biostimulants in it that are gonna just make my soil that much richer. The grass is gonna grow that much better. Grow better, grow healthier, but not necessarily taller and faster. So that's also from Yard Mastery. I'm gonna put that down and spray it. So I gotta spray that, I gotta spray this, and I'm gonna put down the Grub X. And that's what I've got planned for today. The problem with this area is there's a slope here and it's always dry up near the house and it always gets direct sunlight all day long. So this is really dry and hard and compact. So if I want my stuff to penetrate the ground, both the hydrotain as well as the spoon juice, I'm gonna do a little bit of a, a trick, a little manual aeration with my drill. Now I saw this trick from Pete Denny at GCI Turf. So don't laugh at me, it was his idea. Don't laugh, it actually works very well. <laughs> All right, it's a good way to ruin a bit, but that's okay, I can sharpen it. Now, spoon juice goes down at a rate of 15 ounces per thousand square feet. If you're going to put it down monthly, you can also use less of it, but put it down more often. It's your choice, whatever you prefer to do. But I'm only gonna get to it monthly. So I've got 4,000 square feet. I'm gonna mix it up in two gallons of water. So I'm gonna put in 60, 60? Yes, 60 ounces of this in here. That's about half the gallon. And uh, that's what I'm gonna put down this month. Now, because it stains everything, I'm gonna make sure that I wet down my sidewalks and my stones and anything like that before I actually put this down. And then I'm gonna wash it off afterwards. Now, the process that I'm gonna follow is I've got my hydrotain, which has the ability to just spray water. So I'm gonna wet things down with that, section at a time. Then I'm gonna spray the spoon juice, then I'm gonna spray hydrotain, and then I'm gonna wet it down again. And then, tonight, I'm gonna run my sprinklers and hopefully tomorrow or the next day it should rain. It is important that hydrotain get down into the roots of the soil. All right, well, that'll do it for my weeknight lawn work. <laughs> Just because you have an HOA doesn't mean you don't have any work to do. So, uh, thank you for watching. I'll put all the links to everything in the video description below. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next one. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to spray uh, the spoon juice. I'm going to spray the hydrotape. Almost knocked that over. <laughs> so tonight I'm going to spray my spoon juice, my Grub X. That's not Grub X. Duh. So that's my day cut out for me. My weeknight lawn work. I'm gonna spray my spoon juice. I'm, I keep doing this. So tonight I'm gonna spread the spoon juice. No, you don't spread spoon juice, you spray it. And I'm also gonna spread the Grub X. So there you go. Come with me, follow along. So now I'm gonna spray my spoon juice. I'm gonna spray the hydrotain, and then I'm gonna spread the Grub X. That's my weeknight lawn work. I got my work cut out for me. All right, thanks for coming along with me. I will put links to all of these products in the video description below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will provide an update. Will I provide an update? I think I'll provide an update. I guarantee I'll provide additional pictures on Instagram. I don't know if I'm gonna put another video, but I probably will. I don't know. I struggle with that idea. I don't wanna bore you guys, but you know, I don't know. What do you, do you want to see an updated video? Tell me, leave a comment. Let me know what you want from me. What do you want from me?
Anyway. <laughs>